Hey, Lindy, how's it going? Hello, good morning and good night to you, I guess. All right then, so we're here today because I want to learn Afrikaans. Yay! <laughs> and that's the language you speak with your, uh, with your parents, right? That's right, yeah, it's my mother tongue. What's, what's difficult about this language in terms of pronunciation? So we have a rolling R. So, for okay. example, the word... Oh, and we have a throaty uh, 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 sound. So right, okay. To put those two sounds together, there's a word uh, yesterday, which is chester. So, chester, chester. Chester. Wow, perfect! Chester. <laughs> perfect, perfect, perfect. It sounds like uh, gestern in, uh, in German. Perfect, so uh, let's start from the beginning. Uh, maybe you can teach me how to say hello. Okay, hello is super easy. It's like English, it's hello. <laughs> Hello. Okay. Hello. Mm, yeah, perfect. Now, how would I say nice to meet you? So, people don't usually say that like around our friend, like age, like friends, but there is a way to just be like, it's a pleasure to meet you, which is Angename Kenes. Oh my god, that's a complicated one. Angename Kenes. Kenes. Angename Kenes. Angename Kenes. Perfect. You're learning really, really? Yes, that's that's really weird. You're so good at this. <laughs> you're really you're really going hard on the chavos. So yeah. you, you have to mean it, right? Angename kenis. Yes. Angename kenis. Angename means pleasant, and um, kenis is like knowledge, acquaintance, meeting. So angename kenis. Angename kenis. Yeah. So angename kenis is like pretty. It's like it's a pleasure to meet you type of thing. So that's for friends, I guess you could just say like, oh, it's. Um, Lekker om jou te ontmoet means nice to meet you. So that's even longer. That's even longer. Sentence. So uh, this is a word that every Afrikaans learner should know. Lekker. Lekker. Lekker is like good, great, fun, nice, whatever. Any good. How'd you write that? Let me write it down. Oh, okay. So that's that in German. Lekker. Yeah. It same. means something delicious. Yeah. So you can when, use it for you food. You can use it for good moments. You can use it for. Pretty girls, a lot of things are lacquer. Yeah. Lacquer. Lacquer. So, um, lacquer um yau. Lacquer um yau. Yau? Yeah, yau is you. Te und mut. Und mut. Lacquer um yau te und mut. Like, do you, do you have like uh, stresses in Afrikaans? Um, not really. We do emphasize the T a little more. I think you're doing the... You know, when you connect the... Oh, liaison. A uh, liaison, sorry. Yeah, yeah. You're, right, right, right. You're doing that. Don't, don't do not do that. <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> so everything has to be separated. Kind of, yeah. Lacker um jou te ontmoet. Lacker um jou te ontmoet. Perfect, yeah. So so you can round your O's a little bit more. Lacker um jou te um. Lacker um jou te ontmoet. Yeah, lacker um jou te ontmoet. Lacker um jou te ontmoet. I'm gonna get there. I'm gonna practice and uh, I'm going to get there. Like it I just remember there's a much easier way as well. <laughs> Please! <laughs> Please! I think Afrikaans people don't really say this a lot. I don't know, maybe everyone just knows everyone already. Um, it's blaitekena. 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 That's really like happy to know, like good to know you. Blaitekena. All oh, right, kena from kenis. Exactly. All right, blaitekena. Yeah, perfect. Blaitekena. Lekker om jou te ontmoet. Yes. Okay. All right. I'll practice. I promise. <laughs> <laughs> so moving on. My name is Bong. Mm. My name is pretty much the same as English. My nom is. My nom is. My nom is Bong. Yeah. But you, my nom is Bong. You can say the is as a us. Us. Yeah. There you go. Us. Wow. Well, you sound like an Afrikaans guy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. There's this joke oh, that Afrikaans okay. guys have where they're just like, us, like, that's a fact, like, true, us. Oh, wow, that, that sounds very manly Japanese yeah. in a certain way. Yeah. Us, us. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's true. My nom is bon. Perfect. My nom is bon. I am French. How would I say that? Ak es France. Ak es France. Perfect. Ak es France. Ak, ak, ak es France. So, oh uh, yeah, again, us is to be, I am. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, us. Wow, it's, uh, it's actually easier than I thought. Yeah, it's pretty similar to English. Uh, how are you? Who can det? Who? 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 Who?
Det. Hur går det? Who can it? Yeah. So how goes it? Oh, pretty much like in English. How? Who? Yeah. Goes on it. That is uh, it. Okay. Who can it? Yeah. And we don't conjugate verbs in Afrikaans, so can to go is for any um, pronouns. All right. So I go, you go. It's always going to be the same. Yai can easy. Ak us ak can. Perfect. Uh, how would I say good? I'm doing good. Good. So if you're saying I'm doing good or it's going well, you say det gaan goed. It goes well. Det gaan, det gaan goed. Yeah. Goed. I think in in Dutch in uh, in Holland they say goed the same way. Absolutely the same. Yeah. Uh, and not good. It's it's not going well. Uh, it's the lockdown and everything. No, I'm I'm depressed. How would I say that? I you. So in Afrikaans we have the double negative. So I think you can figure ah. this out if I tell you not is nie. Ni. So double negative with goed. Dit ni gaan goed ni. Very close. <laughs> dit gaan ni goed ni. Wait. Dit gaan ni goed ni. Okay. Yeah, dit you. gaan ni goed ni. Yeah. So the double negative okay. is around the word that you're negating only. You don't always have to say the dit gaan. So you can just be like, ach ni ni goed ni. Not not really good ni. Okay. Ni goed ni. Okay, so um, before we continue, let's promote your uh, channel and all the projects you're working on right now. Are you learning any new language this year? Or are you just maintaining your level in, in each one of them? So I guess the new ones would be like Burmese, uh, Hindi is kind of new, and I'm still super beginner in Hungarian, so trying to up those. Um, but then maintenance mode for the rest, like Korean, Japanese, Chinese, French and Spanish. Okay. Wow, <laughs> that's a lot. How how are you? How am I doing with the languages? With your motivation in general, yeah. Oh, it's been good actually since I moved apartments and I have more space to film now. So I'm trying to be more productive with videos. Um, but I think some people don't know that I'm not a full-time YouTuber. So yeah. I do work um, as a designer apart from that. So it keeps me really busy. So still trying to learn how to balance um, YouTube and design. Moving on. Uh, how do you say it's delicious? You know, I'm a person who loves traveling to taste the food of all the countries I, I go to. And uh, that being said, I would love to know more about traditional uh, South African food. Uh, uh, you were born there, but I'm not quite sure how long you spent there. So I don't know if you're uh, used to eating Africa, uh, South African food. Well, no? I have a South African mother. <laughs> so, yeah. Right, obviously. Okay, okay. <laughs> Uh, For sure. Yes, yeah, so we have a really diverse population in South Africa. I mean, not only mentioning dialects and people groups, but we have 11 official languages. So, uh, so many different types of food and different cultures there. So I grew up mostly around like Afrikaans, South African food. So we have a lot of good desserts and stews and casseroles, those types of things. Nice. I'd like to try that one day. My favorite dessert is called milk tart, which is like milk tart. So it's basically like a milky uh, condensed milk casserole pudding. Not casserole, that's the wrong word. It's like a, a pudding with condensed milk and like a biscuit base with um, cinnamon on top. Ooh, that looks delicious. It's so good. It's so delicious. How, how would you say that then? It's delicious. So I think you know the word already, right? For lekker. Yeah, so you can say des lekker. Des lekker. Yeah, des is a contraction of dit es, so it is. Ah, dat is des. Des lekker. Des lekker. Or you can yeah, say as, as... it looks nice, which is dit like lekker. L Y K, dit like lekker. It looks nice. Uh, like lekker. Des lekker. Dit is lekker. Dit like lekker. Perfect. <laughs> I think you have a good ear for languages. People who are able to imitate accents really easily are able to pronounce words in new languages really well. So you're doing good. It's true, but sometimes I do exaggerate too much. It helps and in the beginning until you can naturalize that accent. Yeah, it's true. That's, that's true. So the next one it might... Uh, I don't want to make you feel uncomfortable or anything, but it's something I ask in every language I, I learn. It's I love you. How would you say that? Can say act. Es Ak. Es. lief ver jou. Or a lot Ak of people actually shorten it to um, Ak jou lief, which is like, I, I have love for you, but 
I don't know. I don't say that. A lot of people do. Actually, Fia, I could just leave. Yeah, both are fine. Okay. Uh, so, I just leave for you. For you. For you. For you. I I get you leave. You can say um, this one. You can kind of squash the I get to I get I get you leave. I get you leave. Perfect. I get you leave. Yeah. So we've been saying yeah, I love you many times to each other now. <laughs> cool. It sounds it sounds nice. So so this is like in English. You can say I love you to your brothers, your sister, uh, your 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 family members, your friends, or is this just romantic love? Uh, no, I would say Akitya Leaf could be a little more romantic, but um, actually for you, you can use with anyone. Akitya Leaf for you. Yeah. Perfect. How would you say thank you? Danke. Danke. Yeah. Danke. Da oh, that's very similar to German as well. Danke. 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 And thank you very much. Boya danke. Boya. 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 Boya danke. Yeah, perfect. Boya danke. Boya danke. Uh, you're welcome. Das a uh, plaisir. That is a plaisir. Das a plaisir. Sounds like pleasure. Yeah, exactly. This is plaisir. We don't the... pronounce the N as a N. We just say a. Uh, this a plaisir. All right. So I think I've uh, had a lot of vocabulary from my very first. I, I would like to emphasize on the fact that it's the first time I ever speak Afrikaans. So uh, how, how did I do? Your pronunciation is really, really good. And I think. Thank you so much. And it's good that you're making connections between German and Dutch as well and English. So that's good. Now, the last word uh, would be goodbye, see you. Yeah. So I just say like boy, <laughs> but the, boy? Okay. the other way is tot ziens, which is pretty much like until I see you again. Sin is to see. So tot ziens. Right. Tot ziens. Bye, thank you. Thank you so much for uh, this first lesson. I don't know how to finish this. Thank you, tot ziens. Yeah, bye. So it's been a week now since the learning session, and let's see if I remember what I learned and if I can pronounce it correctly. Hello, lekker om jou te ontmoet. My name is Bong, ek is Frans. Hoe gaan dit? Nie goed nie. Dit lyk lekker. Mmm, dis lekker. Ek het jou lief. Baie dankie. Tot ziens. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know with a thumbs up and in the comments. And don't forget to share, subscribe and go visit Lindy's channel for more amazing tips about language learning. Tot ziens.